Hey guys, welcome to my video, You Thyroid Sick Syndrome. T4 is peripherally converted to T3. This is a statement that's very important in the study of three things, and that is U thyroid sick syndrome, amiodarone induced thyroid toxicity, as well as the treatment of any hypothyroid state. And I'm going to go over euthyroid sick syndrome in this lecture. So if you have a vignette or a question where there's a patient who comes in who has a severe viral or otherwise severe ICU type illness, there is a compromise in this peripheral conversion. And that's because of the kinds of inflammatory markers or enzymes that are released or proteins that are increased in the blood during such a severe state. An example of this is a cytokine. So cytokine is very damaging to this conversion. And in a case like this, in the initial stage, you're going to obviously have a decrease in your T3, and the T4 is going to be normal, and the TSH is going to be normal. But remember that the thyroid gland doesn't just secrete T4. So the thyroid gland secretes three hormones the T4, the T3. And the third enzyme, or the third, sorry, third hormone that it releases, so it releases about 90% of T4. It releases um, maybe 9% T3 and about 1%, less than 1% of something called reverse T3. And what happens in euthyroid sick syndrome is although the T3 is decreased, the enzyme, at the same time the enzyme that breaks down reverse T3, because reverse T3 is usually broken down into something called T2, which is then cleared. The breakdown of this, as well as the clearance of this, is decreased. So at, at the same time you have a decreased conversion of T4 to T3, you also have a decreased clearance of reverse T3. And um, there's a lot of um, research out there, a lot of clinical evidence out there that the same kinds of inflammatory markers that decrease the conversion of T4 to T3 also decrease the breakdown of reverse T3 and consequently reverse T3 is not cleared. So in this euthyroid sick syndrome, you're going to have an increase of reverse T3. Okay. Now, this is a very, euthyroid sick syndrome is a very kind of complex thing. The main thing is that, of course, these inflammatory markers are causing the decrease in peripheral conversion of T4 to T3. But when it's very severe, when it's very severe, you're going to keep the hallmark decrease in T3, an increase in reverse T3. But the T4 and the TSH, oftentimes in a severe state, also go down. And of course you could have situations where the TSH is slightly increased. There is, there are situations like that um, documented. And what that means is that 
in a severe state, you have many factors in play. You have perhaps a da damage to the thyroid organ, perhaps a damage to the hypothalamus and pituitary. So there are different theories out there circulating, but what you do need to know is that in a severe state, this is the likely clinical, the laboratory picture in a severe euthyroid sick syndrome. Now, if you just look at these three lab values, just these three, it, it looks like something else. What does this look like? Doesn't this look like something called central hypothyroidism? So now, how would you tell central hypothyroidism from euthyroid 6 syndrome? And that's this. The answer is this reverse T3. The reverse T3 is increased in the euthyroid sick syndrome, whereas it's normal in a central hypothyroidism. And you've reached the end of my video.